Minecraft versus Fortnite, Fortnite versus Minecraft. When Fortnite first started rising through the ranks of internet popularity, a lot of people were saying it was going to catch up with Minecraft. After all, Fortnite and Minecraft were the only two building related action games on the market at the time, and they were also hands down two of the biggest games on YouTube. However, over a year later, Minecraft is still, still up in the YouTube search results. And while Fortnite is starting to struggle a bit in the numbers department, Minecraft is actually trending up. So why exactly is that? What is up everybody? Chaos here. Welcome to Chaos Top 10s. And today I wanna to dive into the main reasons why I think Minecraft is starting to take over Fortnite. The tides have shifted. Be sure to let me know in the comments which game you prefer or if you're of the notion that you can like two games. That's that's crazy thought, I know, and let's get into this. First things first, the age range. Let's talk about the target demographics. Now, Minecraft and Fortnite are obviously both very diverse games in terms of who they are targeting. Both games are played by just about everybody. There's no denying that Fortnite is targeting a largely, well, they're, they're targeting an audience that is largely kids and teenagers. However, Minecraft doesn't really have a target audience because everybody can find their fun with this game. By not specifically trying to appeal to a certain demographic, Minecraft manages to remain a more open game for all and it keeps people of all ages playing the game. Sure, there's a lot of kids that play Minecraft, but there are also a lot of adults. And obviously I know there are plenty of adults playing Fortnite as well, but my point is once you get out of Fortnite's target demo, the numbers drop pretty quick. So when's the last time you heard of 40 and 50 year olds playing Fortnite consistently? How about reputation? Put simply, Epic Games is kind of uh, in hot water right now. Well, they're always in hot water for something with the community. Ever since the push for the Epic Games store and all the extremely poorly received moves they've made there, the company as a whole has been kind of in shambles and it shows in their products. The Epic Games store is a mess and Fortnite is almost always in a bad state in terms of bugs, glitches, server stability, so on and so forth. It has pretty much made a name for itself by being unstable. Now compare that to Minecraft and Microsoft. Now Microsoft definitely isn't a perfect company and they've made plenty of horrible decisions in the past. They're also much more respectable and have a much longer legacy with them. They're also much quicker to fix their products and keep them technically stable. So when you put Epic Games up against Microsoft in a battle of reputation, it's pretty clear who the winner is, regardless of how you feel about the business decisions of either company. At number eight, Minecraft is not competitive. Well, there is a Minecraft Monday competitive thing, but that's more for fun. Now, Fortnite tries to sell itself as a casual game, but it's pretty clear to everyone on the planet that it's not actually casual anymore at all. Sure, the LTMs can be casual and you can have creative mode, but the main modes of Fortnite, they aren't casual. You've always got the TTV sweats who take any opportunity they can to show off and go for Twitter clips, and that kind of stuff drives the less skilled players right away from the game. If you were to just compare the creative aspects of Fortnite and the creative aspects of Minecraft, Minecraft would still be the clear winner because the game was designed with creativity in mind, while Fortnite was designed to be a battle royale game first, in a creativity tool later down the line. They're very, very different games, but if you're not a very competitive person, Fortnite isn't going to be the game for you, and that is a big sign of Minecraft taking the lead. This month's giveaway is for a brand new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on those notifications, and tweet me why you want to win it with your Twitter handle included. Next up is stability. Now I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but I want to go, I want to do a deeper dive. Fortnite is almost always in a buggy state, or there's something wrong with the servers. LTMs get disabled, weapons and items get disabled, there's bugs left and right. You guys get the idea, you know what I'm talking about. But what about Minecraft? Think back on all the years of Minecraft, how long it's been out and think to yourself, when was the last time you actually noticed a major bug in the game? Now I'm not saying at all that Minecraft is flawless as a game in terms of technical performance, but what I am saying is that it's a lot more stable than Fortnite, and that kind of stuff leaves an impression on people. If you're looking for a fun creative game and you had one that felt very inconsistent and features kept getting turned on and off while the other one was always consistent, you would more than likely gravitate towards the second one. At number six, Minecraft isn't pandering. People know uh, when they're getting pandered, and that's something Fortnite is extremely guilty of. Everywhere you go, you see Fortnite stuff. Fortnite toys, clothes, dances, advertisements, and it's all very self-indulgent. Fortnite's culture and promotional material is very aggressive to someone who doesn't play the game, and that's what you don't want when you're trying to bring people in. Think about it. 
If someone didn't know anything about Minecraft and they saw some of the promo material, they would probably be somewhat interested. But if they didn't know anything about Fortnite and they saw all the promo material and the fan base surrounding it, it would probably kind of back off of it. They wouldn't want to try it out. That's the double-edged sword of Fortnite's hype culture, and it is a hype culture. On one hand, most of your fans love it, and it makes them want to be part of it. But on the other hand, it makes the people who aren't part of that community kind of feel alienated and uninterested. And I'm not saying in any form or fashion that Minecraft doesn't promote either, because they do. But I just, I feel like Fortnite's hype culture could keep people from wanting to come in and try it. At number five, microtransactions. Personally, I have no problem with Fortnite's microtransactions, and I think in the world of modern gaming, most of us can agree that Fortnite's business model is pretty solid. But that still doesn't change the fact that the microtransactions are very prominent. You've got character skins, weapon skins, emotes, pickaxes, sprays, the battle pass, so on and so forth, and they're all put on display during gameplay. Now let's compare that to Minecraft's microtransactions. While not everyone likes Minecraft's system, I think we can agree that they're much less intrusive than Fortnite's. If you want to play Minecraft and not spend any money, there's a good chance you'll never even be presented with the option to spend money. But if you want to play Fortnite and not spend any money, it's pretty much impossible to not be advertised to constantly buy the game itself and people playing it. Next up, options. Yeah, it's a pretty obvious one you have way more options when creating things in Minecraft. Like I said before, Fortnite is a battle royale game with creative tools thrown in later. While I definitely think that Fortnite's creative mode is pretty awesome, it really, really is, and it's certainly one of the best on the market right now, if not the best, it's still nowhere near Minecraft's level of customization and options. The things people make in Minecraft are incredible. And some of those things you wouldn't actually believe unless you see them with your own eyes. If you want a game about shooting things, you obviously won't go to Minecraft, but but if you want a creativity tool, Minecraft is still the best on the market by a landslide. Mods. Why the heck hasn't Fortnite added mods yet? Honestly, mods have a pretty massive impact on a game's lifespan. Just look at games like GTA 5, Fallout 4, Skyrim, Witcher 3, and many, many more. These are all games that have a pretty limited shelf life on paper. But thanks to the PC community adding more material to them via mods, they've remained some of the most popular games on the platform to this day. The same can be said about Minecraft, which has a massive modding community and there is seemingly new content being added via modding every single day. The mods people have made for Minecraft are pretty incredible and they've added a ton of shelf life to the game. Plus, since Minecraft's shelf life was already pretty infinite as it was, the continued growth of the modding community will only keep going. Uh, it's only going to make it go it's going to make it go forever, honestly. Fortnite, Fortnite would probably do themselves some justice by adding mods. At number two, more laid back gameplay. Now this is obviously, it's to each his own, you know? I mean, if you like more laid back, Minecraft. If you like the sweat fest, Fortnite. Fortnite is increasingly getting more difficult to play casually. In fact, some would even say that casual Fortnite is totally dead at this point. Personally, I've got mixed feelings on this, but that is for a different video. The point of me saying that that is a whole lot of people really like competitive multiplayer games, but the majority of gamers, they don't. There may be millions and millions of people playing Fortnite, but there are way more people playing other games. When you look at the best-selling games of all time, none of them are competitive multiplayer games, and there is a reason for that. Despite how much competitive games are often promoted and advertised, they make up a relatively small portion of the market compared to the casual games, the single-player games, and the creativity tools like Minecraft, Roblox, and Gmod. If you want to play a game competitively, well, there are absolutely games for that, like Fortnite. But if you want to play a game that's more relaxing... Fortnite's probably at the bottom of that list, and I mean, it really is right now, whereas Minecraft is probably pretty close to the top for many people. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with post notifications on so you always get alerted when a new video goes up and you can get that elusive first comment. And finally, more laid back promotion. I mentioned this briefly earlier, but I'm going to bring it up again because it's very important. It is. Fortnite's promotion is very high energy, colorful, explosive, loud, and in your face to capitalize on the hype culture surrounding the game. It's working for them. Minecraft's promotion, on the other hand, very laid back, just like the game. Now, if you're an average person looking for a creative game, which of these two would you gravitate to just off the promotion? Minecraft? Because one thing that gamers hate is when they're being told that they should be excited about something. Minecraft takes the opposite approach and lets you make your own excitement. Fortnite will continue to capitalize on its hype culture as long as it can. But you have to wonder, what will it do when the hype culture runs out? Does Epic Games have a backup plan? What's the roadmap look like? What's plan A, B, C, D? What would happen to Fortnite if the hype culture disappeared? And that is where Minecraft 
shines in longevity. It has remained on top of the world without any massive hype culture and without telling players to get super excited about updates. They just host the game, get the word out about it, and let the players have fun and do the talking themselves. So there you go. Those are 10 reasons why Minecraft may be overtaking Fortnite. It's been a battle. Fortnite obviously has dominated over the last year, but over the last couple months, Minecraft has made the push to get back on top. And once again, once again, if we lived in a world where everybody can like all games and you don't have to pick, well, that would be something, wouldn't it? But we like to put everything versus everything. So I'll leave it to you guys. Do you like Minecraft more or Fortnite? I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you have those post notifications turned on. I'll see you soon.